The pins are here. They're my new enamel pins and it's the first time I've ever designed any. There's three of them. There's the hedgehog nigiri, the cherry cats and pegasaurus which is the prehistoric ancestor of the pegasus and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. They look so small and shiny and colourful and I think they look really cute. So while I was designing them, I filmed little bits along the way so you can see my design process and what it's like designing something new for Cakes With Faces. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you like the designs, you can get them from my website, which is cakeswithfaces.co.uk and you can also get them from Cakes With Faces on Etsy. So now let's rewind to two months ago, back in January when it was really dark and I was first trying to decide which designs to get made. Here's where I work and here are some of the rough designs for the pins this one would be really nice an illuminati pin this one is a hedgehog nigiri <laughs> no reason <laughs> just because it would be cute pegasaurus now this is one of my top ideas for a pin Oops, sorry <laughs> here's the original design and to make it into a pin i got rid of these shading parts because it has to be flat color and all the different colors have to be outlined in metal so you can't have any shadows like this but what i can't decide with this design is whether to have the name pegasaurus on the actual pin or not um, because without the name is it too difficult to understand um, but I think he looks really cute without any text on. Maybe it could be like an in-joke, so if you've got the pin and you know the design, you know what it is. Bumblebee Cat would make a really cute pin. This is my other favourite, Snowbow, which was a drawing that I did that was really popular. Um, sun plus rain is rainbow, so sun plus snow makes a snowbow. <laughs> and it got a lot of love on Facebook but I've never done anything with it. This one, the Cherry Cats, that was a design from the Katoos. I've made the outlines a bit chunkier, taken off the shading, and I made the cherry stalks a bit shorter to make the, the shape of the whole thing a bit fatter so it won't get caught on clothing. Let's look at them on this now. I laid them out to um, post them on Instagram to see what you guys think. Um, so here's another one, kind of inspired by the Katoos. It's a rainbow with cat head clouds. Not sure about that one, I don't really like it that much. These two at the bottom are really a bit too girly for Cakes With Faces, I think. And these ones, I was trying out some designs inspired by Japan. These signs, karaoke, karaoke. I just like the signs you get on karaoke bars in the street in Tokyo. And this one is a gacha machine, which would be really cute. Now the other decision to make is whether to get them with silver or gold finish or black finish and I'm talking about the outlines here. These ones are gold, that's black, that one's silver because I think a black outline would suit the style of my artwork better but the metal, shiny metal pins just look really cool and magical and I don't know, is something about why pins are nice, the shininess. <laughs> Making new products always involves so many little decisions like this and it's important to get them right so they turn out nice. It's also a risk when I get new things as well because I have to order loads of them in bulk before I know if anyone's going to like them so I do take my time over it and try and get it right. The proofs have arrived for the pins. A proof is a preview so you can check it. it's going to look okay before it goes into full production. And look, on the cherry cats, the whiskers are webbed. <laughs> it's because they can't do angles that small at this size. So I've just changed the design a little bit and made the whiskers slightly shorter so they don't look like monster cats with webbed whiskers. <laughs> And look how bare my desk is. I had to pack all my figures away because we're going to be moving soon and it looks so boring. I've been working on the designs for the backing cards for the pins. Here they are. I've gone for black with sparkles in the background. And on the back we've got why he's called Pegasaurus, the prehistoric ancestor of the Pegasus. Here's the one for the cherry cats and the back. And I was going to have hedgehog nigiri matching as well, but I just thought it looked so good on this sushi rolling mat background, I had to go for it. And on the back of that one, I've got my favourite fact about hedgehogs and Japan. The Japanese name for hedgehog means needle mouse. How cute is that? Harine Zumi. And finally, the pins have arrived. Here they are. They're in these bags 
and they're all individually wrapped. There's all the hedgehog nigiri, pegasaurus and the cherry cats. I'm really pleased with how they've come out. I'm glad I went for the black finish on these ones so the eyes look better. And for Pegasaurus, I went for a dark metal, a gun metal finish. So he's a bit more shiny and magical. Here's the backing cards. They've come out really colorful and shiny. So I'm really happy with them. So I've taken photos of them. I've done all the photoshopping and they're in the shop ready to go. I'm designing lots of other new things as well at the moment, so look out for that. And I've been putting a few previews on Twitter and Instagram, so if, if you're interested, go and have a look. And I'll be back soon with more videos about Japan and more colourful things. See you soon. Bye-bye.